Hey guys, we're wrapping up a week here in Washington DC and, and before I start talking about uh, Biden's decision with old weapons from Israel, I, I, I want to make sure we're not forgetting what's taking place in Barnstall. You know, last week I, I was talking about what happened in Holdenville and Marietta and, and Sulphur and then just literally a week later we get hit again. And Sky 5 is over the town of Barnstall where we can see a definite path of destruction. Uh, from that tornado that happened late last night after dark, and you can see the destruction that it left in its path as it made its way to the northeast right through Barnstall, seeing 30 to 40 destroyed homes in this area. We know that there was one fatality, a number of structures and businesses also affected by the tornado that made its way through here. The cleanup is only beginning, and we're gonna continue to keep tabs here on this small community of Barnstall here in northeastern Oklahoma. Reporting from Barnstall, I'm Chase Rutledge in Sky Five. And, uh, and it's heartbreaking. And, and once again, you saw the Oklahoma Standard come alive and, and people there and people praying for each other and, and everyone showing up with their trucks and their tractors and their trailers to help out. Uh, but these communities are devastated. And, and so it doesn't just end today or in a week. This is going to take a long time for, to recover. And I really encourage that there's something you can do uh, if, if all you can do is pray, that's great, but if there's something you can do, you can go help, um, donate. We, we're, we're needing assistance in these, in these hard hit areas. My job right now is to coordinate with the state level and the federal level and make sure that we're, we're getting the monies going to where they need to go and they're going to the, the, the places that they can uh, provide the most assistance. And we're playing that role uh, and, and we got a great relationship with the, uh, with the state and um, uh, from the governor's office all the way down to our local officials uh, and then our emergency responders and so that, that relationship is strong and, and it, already, it was already strong before this happens and I just want to tell you guys we're still working on it. Now let me switch gears and start talking about what's happened in, uh, in Israel. You know after 9-11 after I don't remember a single country coming to us and telling us how we needed to go after Al-Qaeda uh, and, and when we started going after Osama bin Laden, they didn't give us parameters on what we could do or start withholding support. In fact, countries rallied around us and went to war with us in Iraq and in Afghanistan. They were standing solid with us because we were fighting a war on terror. Now fast forward to October 7th, Israel gets struck by Hamas in the most horrific manner you can imagine. The videos I saw are stuff that I'll never ever get out of my head. And we have the President of the United States withholding weapons from Israel and telling them how they have to fight a war. I'm sorry, but this President isn't the one I would take any advice from, especially about fighting wars, since you know he did such a great job on a withdrawal out of Afghanistan, and he's done such a great job creating stability around the world. Those are all extreme jokes, by the way. I'm just saying that this isn't our place. We should be standing with Israel and providing them all the needs that they need from us that we can provide. We shouldn't be putting parameters on it. That's not our job. They got attacked by a terrorist organization and we should be standing with them just the same way the rest of the world stood with us after 9-11. We're going to hold this president accountable for these decisions. Guys, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to serve the great state of Oklahoma. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.